Hi, I'm Richard Shockley from the Virtual Bowling Academy, and here's our tip of the week. Today's tip, let's talk about, in my opinion, probably the most overlooked part of our game, making spares. Making spares. Been doing this for 40 years, and to this very, very day, I can promise you that the reason bowlers suffer with their average or really can't crack the next level is because we miss too many spares. Now, how do you play the lane with spares today? You know it's changed a lot in the days of when I was bowling. We had polyester for strike ball and spare ball. Today, realistically, yes, we should use a polyester ball, uh, right-handers for the right side. Even for the left side, for a lot of you, a lot of coaches out there, I know that you're teaching spares with polyester for left and right side. That's okay. And you say, well, coach, you know, I watch all the pro bowlers. They always use polyester, uh, particularly on the seven pin or the four pin, or maybe even the two, four, five, eight. That's fine. And you have to make that determination if that's going to be good for you. But you better be very good at it. Are you as good as Tommy Jones? Are you as good as, as Chris Barnes? Can you play that angle at the fifth arrow to play the seven, you know, seven pin spare? It's up to you. You know what the rule of spares are? There's no rules. It's what works for you. Uh, ten pin, yeah, right-handers, pick a spot, you move left, you want to play maybe between the third and the fourth arrow, maybe the fourth arrow, the rules are there's no rules. It's what your mind's eye sees, what you see to make these spares. A lot of people say, you know what, coach, I need to throw the ball really hard at spares. Like the pros, and Sean Rash and those guys that fire the ball down there pretty quick. You think Norm Duke, he doesn't throw the ball very, very fast at spares. He throws it control at the spare. Maybe a little bit slower than a strike ball. More control. What kills me is how fast does a bowling ball have to go to make a single pin? If you throw the ball real hard, Throws your balance out, okay? Making spares. Now, let's talk about making these cluster spares. Now, you have to maybe look at your diagram if you guys don't realize, you know, what the pins are. We're talking right-handers. Well, I'll tell you left in a second, but the right-hander. Let's take a look on a house shot. We're, we're living in a house shot world here, okay? It's a lot different for sport conditions. Let's talk about the 2-8, okay? You want to get that in your mind, the 2-8, what we call the sleeper. No, a lot more than 12 inches between there. What are you going to use for the sleeper? Well, coach, I throw a polyester ball at the sleeper. Good luck. Good luck that you are that good. Well, I see the pros do it. They're professional bowlers. Do you know how hard it is to make the 2A? You got a 5 inch diameter pin, 8.5 on the ball diameter. You're going to have to nail the center of that two pin really tight to drive it into the eight. Really tight. Now guess what happens? If we hook the ball coming in at two A, you come in, your ball can take the two out, and the ball will take the eight out. Do you think that's going to do it with polyester? Ain't going to happen. Okay? Let's look at another one. Three, six, ten. Lefties, two, four, seven. One of the toughest spares in the world for a lot of people under pressure. Do you want to use polyester or go cross lane? That's fine. Going way cross lane can be just fine. You can play a little bit tighter, play third arrow, whatever your mind's eye sees. What if you want to hook it at the 3610? I do. What if you want to hook it at the 310? I do. I guess I've been a 95% spare player for a long time. That's what I work on, spares. Okay? 6-10, 10 pin, throw your polyester ball. It's not a problem. Okay? So what I'm saying is here, playing spares is up to you, what you feel comfortable with. Be careful that whenever you're making a left side spare, if you move right like I do and teach and play a little bit more angle, maybe the fourth arrow, maybe close your shoulders just a little bit and be sure that you don't get hooked up in that big flood of oil in the middle. How many times have you looked at a seven pin and you just skid it dead right on it about that far? upsets you, doesn't it? I've even seen people skid dead right on a four pin because that puddle in the middle, you've got to be very, very careful. Okay? Now let me give you some 
some information that I've looked at for the last 20 years. And a lot of, a lot of people can say, hey, coach, I average 185. I need to buy a new ball to get better. Maybe take a lesson. Uh, I think that's going to help me get to 200. Or I want to get to 195, coach. I'm 185. Okay. At the end of the season, you're 185 in the yearbook. Well, we got 36 weeks, 108 games if you didn't miss a week. Okay. 108 games, full season, 36 weeks, you're $1.85. That means you average a 555 series every week. Okay? 555 is a 185 average. Okay. I know for a fact that a 185 average bowler is going to average missing six pairs a night. Well, wait a minute now. I don't miss six pairs a night. Yeah, you do. I've been at this too long. If I were to go up and get recaps for every series for all the weeks in league, which I can do, we'll go back and highlight all of them. Yeah, you're going to have some splits here and there, but a 185 average bowler is going to miss six. Average. Some nights you might not miss one. Next week you miss two. Next week you miss seven. Varies, but as the overall season goes, you give away 60 pins a night. I see some of you out there going like this. So you're giving away 60 pins a night. Multiply that 60 pins times 36 weeks. How many pins are you giving away? 2,100 pins. Pretty close. Let's just say you cut that in half. Now I only miss three instead of six. And I'm only going to lose what? 30 pins tonight now. 36 weeks. If you do that, if you improve your spare capabilities from miss six to you know to 30 pins, guess what your average becomes at the end of the year now? 195. You went from 185 to 195 by making three more spares out of the six that you averaged. Why did you go buy six bowling balls? Did you think that's going to make a big difference in your spare game? I can't tell you how many times in coaching I have seen students get up there and have the first five in a row. Well, i got some numbers here right now. First four strikes in a row. Ready? This is a good example. First four strikes, then you leave the three, six, ten. Missed it. Got two. Oh, well. Oh, I came back with a double. I'm in the seventh frame now. What's next? Eighth frame. Left the ten pin. Missed it. Nobody misses the 10 pin, right? This time you did, the wrong time. Ninth frame, strike again. Cool. 10th frame, two, four, five, eight. Bucket. Bad news is you missed that. So let's take a look. You missed one, two, three spares. Very, very makeable spares. How many strikes did you have this game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You had seven strikes, three opens. You know what that adds up to? 200. 200. Oh, that's a pretty good game. Well, what would your game have been if we had had a clean game with three makeable spares? You know what the number is? 235. 35 pins. 30 pins of spare. Now, just look at it that way. I want you to really focus on the spare game. I want you to really look at that polyester ball. One more thing, one more thing I didn't talk to, to you about. A lot of the, the players that I see, they got their polyester ball, and for some reason, going to the right, they want to take their wrist and break it down. Why? You got this polyester ball with a 90-something hardness value. What's it supposed to do? It goes dead straight. It's supposed to skid. Guess what happens when you do this? It's going to more, go more dead right. I see this all the time. Ten pin, plastic ball, go left, break the wrist down, gutter, right in the front, gutter, gutter. Throw it exactly like you do your strike ball. Just throw your same exact release. You don't have to break it down. Now, if you're going to throw your, your first ball, you don't want to be a polyester ball spare player. And you want to knock it down a little bit. Okay? So I hope these, so this information gives you a little bit more about spares. And I promise you, if you work on this when you go practice, you will uh, take your percentages way up and your average will go way up also. Thanks a lot. 
Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this week's tip. For a personalized lesson, you can send your videos to me at RichardShockley'sVirtualBowlingAcademy.com to help you take your game to another level.